I'm Angus. And I'm Tom. Welcome to Smoking Dagger Barbecue. <laughs> Is this where you'd like us to film the second scene? Yeah. Uh, you look like a Jedi. <laughs> you were the chosen one! Wings! <laughs> so what are we cooking today, mate? Yeah, today we're going to do um, smoked chicken wings. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're going to um, put a dry rub on them, salt, pepper, garlic, uh, and then we're going to finish them with a white Alabama sauce. Yeah, right. Tell me more about that sauce. White Alabama sauce is excellent on chicken wings. And yeah, I don't know, it gives a really nice finish. I don't know, it sounds delicious, but are they going to be crispy? That's the issue I have. Uh, I've done this a couple of times now, and the one thing that I struggle with is getting the chicken wings nice and crispy when you're smoking on a Kamado. Well, lucky I brought my Vortex. Right, everyone, we're gonna open this bag and see what we're looking at here. Standard issue chicken wing, tip wing, tremette. We're gonna separate these before we put on the rub. I think you need a bigger knife, mate. That's not a knife, this is a knife. What you want to do is try find the wing and put that to the left of it, create a little V. It should come apart that easy. Breaking bones, not hearts. There we go. Alright, so now we've got our chicken wing pieces all nicely split up there. We're going to use our Smokey Joe's SPG rub. Pop this bottle in. But I'm going to put a lot on. It may look like a lot of seasoning, they actually have a very nice balance of flavours. Thought out, so it's not exactly the same as going to a restaurant, grabbing a table salt and smashing it in there. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty stuffed. 
Yeah, that was a nice appetizer. Uh, Look, we're gonna give this cook uh, our traditional smoke and dagger assessment criteria. One. Look, did it look like a good barbecue? Two. Taste. Did it taste good or did it taste shit? Three. X Factor. X Factor being everything that we bring to the cook to make it a little bit special. It's all right, mate. Tell me about your rating, son. Well, for me, look, I give this cook a four out of five. It's not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go with a three and a half out of five for this cook. Um, I think with the setup we had, some of them became a little bit more caramelized than others. So I was looking for a bit more consistency, but still very attractive wings. For taste, I'm gonna give these wings a three out of five. Yep, I'm absolutely going to agree with that one. I think the underlying rub was fantastic. I think given we used quite a mild sauce, it could have went a little bit harder on the sauce. I do really think the sauce could have been the star of this show, but at the end of the day, it wasn't liberally coated and it didn't get a chance to stand out as the... So tell us about the X Factor score. Yeah, for me, the X Factor has to be pretty high here. I'm going to go for 4.2. Throwing a traditionally uh, Weber associated equipment, being the Vortex into your Kamado Joe, I think that's fantastic. I, I love the innovation there. Um, also using lump charcoal instead of, I guess, a, a traditional briquette, also fantastic. So 4.2 from me. Previous cooks, I just haven't been able to get that nice crunchy finish. Uh, I think we. We uh, cleaned up on that today. Here with the smoker and the vortex, it's a winning combination. Agree. Well, that's all we have time for this afternoon here at uh, Smoke and Dagger Barbecue. But before we leave, I'd like to uh, give you all with this quick message. Like, subscribe, or just follow what we're doing with the channel. We're just three guys from Perth that love barbecue and uh, boozing on the weekend. So if, uh, if you can get around that, I would love to see you for the next video. Cheers. Cheers.